Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Nathan's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at Peroni or Peroni Red, uh, a 4.7 percent alcohol by volume Italian lager. Uh, this is the original Peroni. Um, most people, when you drop the name Peroni, are familiar with the Nastro Azzurro, which I believe is the Peroni export beer. It's the you know what Peroni exports to the world. And showed off. Oh, this is Italian beer. Uh, this is you know the home um, Italian beer. This is allegedly the original Italian beer, um, which is nowhere near as common um, around the world as Nastro Azzurro. Uh, this is actually a fully Italian bottle. This isn't even um, normal. I have seen this. I have seen this beer in export format, and it comes around with a label around the body of the beer, not just the neck. Um, and it's also fully Italian because it's all in Italian writing, um, of which I'm about to butcher the language. Um, so what can I tell you about this beer from the bottle? It comes, of course, in this brown study, which I believe is 330 milliliters. Um, yeah, 30, 33, 330 milliliters. 4.7% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, which is roughly 1.6, 1.7 Australian standard drinks. Um, the ingredients are all in Italian, so I'm going to attempt to decipher it. Um, I took Italian class back in year eight in high school. Um, the only reason I took it because our teacher was Italian and she was smoking hot, and I'm pretty sure that's the only reason all the boys in my class took the class. Um, so aqua, which is obviously water, molto di orzo, which I'm assuming is malt, um, malted barley perhaps. Uh, Gran Tuccio, the Polo. Sorry to all my Italian viewers who have no idea what I just said in Italian. Um, so I'm guessing it's, it's your standard lager, you know, water, yeast, malt, barley, barley malt, and hops. Um, Valore Energetico per 100 mils is 162 calories, kilojoules, or 39 calories per 100 mils. So, um, and just everything else around the label is just consumer info. Um, I picked this up in a in Aldi uh, here in Australia. It was part of a variety pack which they had on special. Five different beers from around the world. Uh, Stella Artois. Budweiser, Corona, um, Peroni Red, and Crombatcher Pills. Um, all of those beers have been imported at some point, I think, into the UK and then imported from the UK into Australia, so they're pretty well travelled. Um, yeah, I've never actually had Peroni Red. I've had the Peroni Nastro Azzurro a few times, so let's crack it open and see if it's as good, if not better, than a Nastro Azzurro. The cap is pretty cool. Uh, by the looks of things, it's a promotion on the cap. Um, I'm not going to embarrass myself further by trying to pronounce, you know, or d decipher all that. But by the looks of things, uh, you can win 10,000 euros as a first prize and 100 euros perhaps as a second prize. Peroni, Peroni, passione italiana, passionately Italian. Let's see how passionate it really is. It's going to be poured today into this Australian style schooner glass because I've got no other glassware to use. So I'm going to use that. Here's the opening for you. Very little to no smoke on the opening. This one's interesting. Into the glass. All right, poured out into my Headmaster schooner glass. It looks very typical of a European style lager. Dark golden, light, uh, light golden, uh, very clear, very filtered. You can see right through the beer. Extremely carbonated, plenty of bubbles flowing up to the top, although that is helped by the Headmaster schooner glass. Headmaster schooner glasses have uh, basically, a little widget in the bottom of the bottom of the glass, which just aids with the carbonation of beer, um, and it's poured a one to two finger. Well, it's dissipating pretty quickly, but very soapy 
sudsy looking white head, uh, looking very much like a stereotypical European style lager. The smell, uh, not a lot going on. Very faint barley malts, bit grassy, bit malty. A little bit of maybe citrus in there, but it's all very subdued. Um, more subdued than what I remember a Nastro Azuro to smell like. Yeah, anyway, on with the taste. Cheers, guys. The taste follows the smell. Uh, very light, grainy, grassy notes. Uh, a fairly subdued malt sweetness that sort of comes through in the back of the mouthfeel. It's well carbonated. Very well carbonated. Um, dry, dry finish. Not very hoppy at all. It's a very thin, thin body. Very watery. It's actually less enjoyable than a Prony Nastro Azuro, I find. Um, it just doesn't have that hot bitterness um, that Peroni Nastro Azuro tends to have. Yeah, there's really not a lot of flavour going on. Um, taste, it tastes actually a bit mineral water. It's almost like they've taken a, a Peroni Nastro Azura and watered it down with an Italian mineral water, like a um, a San Pellegrino, um, which is a bit sad. Um, yeah, it's actually actually not as good as good as Peroni Nastro Azura. Very, very carbonated. Um, you know, there's not a lot of bitterness, not a lot of hops, uh, hot bitterness, not a lot of multi sweetness. It really does have that carbonated mineral water flavour to it, um, with a bit of with a bit of multi sweetness and graininess that just fills out the gaps. Um, Look, on, a, on an outrageously hot day, um, you know, in the Tuscan Hills, I'm sure, I'm sure it probably goes down a right trip. Um, but if you're looking for a, a really crisp, hot, like, bitter lager, you know, the, the, the bitter, like, hot bitterness that comes from Nastro Azuro or Heineken or, you, you, you're not picking it up in this. It's just very watery, very thin, very subdued beer flavours. Um, yeah, definitely by far not the best European lager one can go out and buy. But it's worth a try. Um, so what am I going to give Peroni? Um, Peroni Red, Peroni Original. It's disappointing from the Italians. Um, Peroni Nastro Azura is one of the world's uh, best-selling European lagers. Uh, Nastro Zero is huge here in Australia. Um, definitely the top two European selling lagers. Um, probably in good contention with Heineken. Um, and I, 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 I don't mind Nastro Zero as, as a lager. It goes really, really well with you know uh, seafood and, and Italian food. But this, I don't know, it's just lacking in a lot of body. It's lacking a lot of flavour. Um, you know, but I'll rush out to go buy it. No, um, I'll definitely buy Nastro Azuro over this. Um, I get the feeling this is probably more expensive than Nastro Azuro too. Um, yeah, disappointing. Uh, what am I going to give Peroni Red? 
I'm going to give it a C plus. Um, it's a pretty average European style lager for mine. Not a whole lot going on. Um, I expected better given Peroni Nastro Azuro's reputation and, and reputability around the world in terms of a European style mass produced lager. Um, maybe the Italian locals like it. Um, but with the success of Nastro Azuro, I just don't see why this is um, as popular in Italy. I don't know. Is it as popular in Italy? Um, this this apparently is the original Peroni, uh, with Nastro Azzurro coming on a lot later. Um, Peroni Red since it actually says on the bottle somewhere. Uh, does it? I don't know. Yeah, but apparently this 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 was around before Nastro Azzurro, and then the makers of Peroni turned around and went, we need a good export beer, and they came up with Nastro Azzurro, which took off like fire to a grass hut. Um, and yeah, I don't understand why. Well, Peroni Nastro Azzurro is a much better beer than the original Peroni. So, look, a C a C plus for Peroni Red. Um, there's a lot better European lagers out there. Um, I'm actually quite disappointed by this one. So, thanks for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you like this review, uh, leave a comment. Do you like Peroni Red? Uh, do you prefer Nastro Azzurro? Um, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Um, yeah, cheers. Bye.